Today, we're going to look at what is probably one of the most important nodes in BuildShip, and that's the return node. Every API you build needs a return node. This is helpful for telling us that we have reached the end of the path of the workflow. So let's add it to our current workflow. This workflow is just going to give us a random number. Let's take a look at what fields are available for the return node. And the first one is an HTTP response. So when you make an API call, you need to have a response. And these are not going to seem unfamiliar, perhaps. You've got 200 for OK, 201 for when you've created something successfully, 202 for accepted, and so on and so forth. You'll also need to have failure cases in case you have branching workflows. For example, the bad requests are unauthorized, or even the 500 internal server error. But in our case, let's try it out. We want to have the status code that returns 200 and the value. And that value can be something like 42. Well, that's not really random, is it? So this value can be also dynamically made. Let's create a node using AI real quick. I need a node that returns a random number between 1 and 100. Let's give that a minute to be created. Cool. So we're all set. Let's take a moment to inspect what's going on here. And as expected, it returns mathbot floor, math random 101. Perfect. So it's giving us that random number. Amazing that we don't have to write a line of code for that. So for our value, we can then use our editor to get that random number from the last node. And that's it. You can see we can return any value we like and keep our API's integrity intact in just a few clicks. But that's just a starting point. Expand this any way you like to build your ideas with a powerful backend. See you in the next video.